Half Hour of Flavor is brought to you by Grenon Indépendant, Rockland's local grocer. Bienvenue à notre émission Une demi-heure de saveur. Mon nom c'est Patrick. Et mon nom est Maria. Today we will be making a delicious penne à la vodka. It's a recipe he really loves to make. Alors, on va commencer à couper les légumes. I'll start with the onion, les oignons. Perfect. And I will do the broccoli. For the bro broccoli, you want florets that are not really that big, so this would be like a perfect size for oui, the pasta. So all I'm doing is I just cut off the florets and then I'm just cutting them in half if they're too big. Ensuite, on va commencer avec de l'ail. There's also a garlic press. Would that work too? If somebody yes. had at home a garlic press? Yes. And we don't have one at home, so we do what he's doing right now. But some of my friends do have that, and it's a really useful tool. So I have all the broccoli ready to go and I'm just going to clean the stem. For the stem, sometimes it's nice to save it and just take off the harder part, the outer part, and save the middle. And you can use it on a stir fry. Alors, avec le bacon, on va juste l'émincer finement. So, I have the broccoli ready to go over here. How about I start cutting the tomatoes? Good idea. So that's for that. And then I'll say. 
tomatoes. So what are we looking for when we cut the tomatoes? Uh, just diced tomatoes. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. So no too big, not too small. So I have a quarter, I'm just cutting it in half and then little pieces. We pre-cooked the pasta just so that it would be faster to assemble it. Avec cette recette, vous pouvez toujours rajouter euh, du poulet ou des crevettes, comme vous voulez, ou du bœuf. Mais aujourd'hui, on va juste le rester avec le bacon et puis les légumes. Could you add mushrooms as well? Oui, vous pouvez rajouter des champignons, zucchini, des courges, absolument. I'm almost ready. Would you like me to grate the parm cheese right after that? Oui, on va commencer à râper le fromage et je vais commencer à chauffer ma poêlonne. Et on va juste mettre un peu de l'huile d'olive. Sorry, I'm just going to grab the tomatoes. Okay. And there you are. Parfait, merci. You're welcome. Alors, on va commencer avec le bacon. Rajouter les oignons. Avec ça, on va laisser le bacon et les oignons cuire un peu. On va leur donner à peu près un bon petit deux minutes. Ça. Après de deux minutes, on va racheter de l'ail et puis on va flamber avec le vodka. So I have some farm cheese right there. There's already, um, you can also find at the grocery stores farm cheese that's already grated. That would work as well. But make sure it's nice and fresh, not the one that you can find on the shelf. This will give you a better product. Oui, la saveur va être meilleure. That looks good. I know. I just love the smell of bacon. <laughs> With the onion. It's like the smell of uh, peppers and onions cooking together. It yes. just reminds me of fajitas for some reason. Oh, like fajitas. that smell just brings back memories. Okay. On va rajouter de l'ail. There you go. Now I'm just going to let this warm up. If you want to do, uh, si vous voulez faire un flambé, vous voulez que votre pan et les ingrédients soient vraiment chauds. And for the cream, it would have to be 
35% whipped cream, right? Yes. Alors, si euh, à la maison, vous avez des éléments électriques et puis vous n'avez pas de flamme pour flamber, euh, vous pouvez toujours utiliser un briquet, mais surtout faire attention. Euh, parce que c'est très flammable. Yeah. Um, don't try it at home. Alors, quand vous mettez toujours l'alcool, toujours euh, retirez votre panne hors du feu. On met à peu près un os. Et voilà. On va laisser l'alcool brûler. Et voilà, c'est déjà terminé. The vodka smells really good with oui. everything else. On va acheter les brocolis. Merci. On va acheter les brocolis cuire un petit peu. Et comme vous pouvez voir, les oignons commencent à caraméliser un peu. Ça, c'est tout à fait normal, parfait. Is it right now where you would add your mushrooms? Yes. Or if you have any zucchini. Mm -hmm. Yes. On va rester de la crème. Mm -hmm. And what if I don't want to use fresh tomatoes? Can I use canned? Oui, absolument. Si vous ne voulez pas utiliser des tomates fraîches, euh, vous pouvez toujours utiliser des euh, tomates en canne, déjà euh, coupées en deux. Il n'y a pas de problème. Tu as du jus de tomate qui vient avec aussi. C'est parfait. Alors, on va laisser ça. On revient après la pause. Hi, welcome back. We're just reducing the sauce right over here yep. and I think soon we'll be ready to add the tomatoes. Soon we'll be right now. Oh, perfect. Vas-y. Super. Avec les tomates, euh, ça va donner une couleur rosée à la sauce et c'est ça qu'on cherche. Oh, well, that looks very good. Yes. Si vous voyez que la sauce a, a réduit pas mal, on peut toujours ajouter de la crème. Can you open this for mm -hmm. me? Thank you. plus. Merci. Alors, on va laisser ça réduire encore plus. On va rajouter du sel et du poivre. Salt and pepper. And do you want to add chili flakes? Yes. Put some pepper. Et voilà. On va saler. Et rajouter les crushed chili peppers. On va commencer avec ça et puis on peut rajouter à la fin. Perfect. This would be a nice comforting supper. Oui. Surtout quand il fait froid dehors. Put like a nice garlic toast. Mm. That would be really good. Avec du fromage aussi. Uh-huh, yeah. that would be really good. And a glass of wine. That would be even better. <laughs> Alors, on va rajouter un peu de fromage parmesan. So what is going to, what consistency do we want the sauce to be? Uh, you don't want your sauce to be too liquid. So, on va laisser la sauce réduire. Elle va venir un petit peu plus épais. Et puis, ça va coller mieux sur les noyers. Now, if you're using canned tomatoes, your sauce might be a little bit thinner. 
you can always add a little bit of cornstarch to make it a little bit thicker. Wait. Now, the way to add cornstarch corn is you mix your cornstarch with, you start with like a tablespoon and you go from there. You mix your cornstarch with a little bit of water just to make enough like a, like a syrup type of thing or like a, like a sauce. And then you add it to your pan and you mix really fast. It will thicken fast. And then you can always add cream if yes. you like. À cette heure, euh, on va rajouter les pains, les okay. pâtes. Et voilà. Si. Could I always put that into a casserole, then put some cheese on top and bake it? Yes. That would be good too. That would be awesome. I think it was one night that we did scallops and shrimp. I think that's what we did one night with the pasta for supper. Yeah. Turned out really well. We did a seafood linguine. Yeah. And as I'm looking at the tomatoes, um, they're starting to soften and just incorporate into the sauce. Yes, that's what, it's making the uh, sauce to be a rosé sauce now. We'll just add a little bit more cream. Perfect. Perfect. And then maybe we can uh, grate more uh, Parmesan Pardon? cheese. Of course. Mm. À ce point ici, je vais juste réduire mon feu. Et voilà. Et on va goûter. Parfait, on va rajouter du sel. Et voilà. Do I just put it in? Yep. Et voilà. So I'm just gonna cut some Parsley for decoration. And I'm just gonna bring more cheese. I like it because it's a fast recipe. It's a recipe that comes fast, um, comes together fast. And you can do it for supper, on a busy night, um, and people would really like it. Yeah. I'll just reserve it for later. So I find that the sauce has reduced enough to coat all the pasta. Yes. Where did you came up with this idea? The penne à la vodka. Mm -hmm. Oh, ça fait plusieurs années. Uh, j'ai travaillé uh, à Burlington, en Ontario, et puis uh, j'ai travaillé dans un restaurant de seafood. Puis uh, le chef m'a montré comment faire son penne à la vodka. Uh, lui, il faisait avec du poulet. So. Il faisait, suer, il faisait cuire son bacon, rajoutait son poulet avec les oignons. Il faisait sauter, après ça flamber avec le vodka. Ça, il rajoutait sa crème, les tomates, les champignons, euh, le fromage parmesan. Et puis c'est là que j'ai commencé à apprendre cette recette-là. Et puis euh, je l'avais faite à ma famille et puis ils l'ont adoré. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you made it for me a few times at home and it's really good. Which is funny because I said you made it for me at home a few times, which means that maybe most of the cooking is done by him. Yeah, well, all the desserts are made by you. 
Okay, most of the desserts are made by me. It's really funny when you both cook and um, for a living, and when you go home, it's, uh, <laughs> it's quite something. Sometimes we don't feel like cooking, so a recipe like this that comes together fast is a good idea. Absolutely. You uh, could do with gluten-free pasta as well. Absolutely, oui. It's just, um, you would just follow the cooking method for the specific pasta you're cooking, and that's about it. Parfait. On est prêt pour uh, monter l'assiette? Merci. So we're going to serve it casserole style so that people could just Pardon. come to the table and take a portion to their liking. I would always serve it with um, grated parm cheese just on the table so people could add as much as they like. It looks fantastic. It smells, eh? It's so good. And I have a little bit of parsley. It's parsley. Just for fun. Hey, we. The pièce de résistance. Le fromage. A generous portion. Alors, c'est temps de déguster. Merci. And I'm going to take some, some of the cheese and bacon. Oops. <laughs> All of the cheese. <laughs> the chili flakes gives a nice mm -hmm. a bit of heat in the vodka everything comes really comes together really well I think he's gonna keep on eating now no oh. <laughs> it's delicious Alors, merci d'avoir écouté notre émission Une demi-heure de saveur. We'll see you next time. Au revoir.